everybody, and welcome to another episode of Dad and Andrew's Garage. Hey, and uh, we have a great episode planned for you today. We have an anniversary episode. Time Rider over at Wee Little Cars is celebrating his third anniversary. What do you think of that, son? That sounds really epic. Yeah, uh, right on. Well, in honor of this anniversary, he put out a little challenge for everyone to do a tow truck. And uh, this is the one we've chosen. Uh, looks like a standard roadside service uh, pickup. What do you think about it, son? The design looks really amazing. I love how it looks like an American car. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I guess it must be there's a lot of red, white, and blue in it anyway. Anywho, what we will do is get this up in the rotating car stand, look at it in a little more detail. What do you say? Yeah, let's do it. Right on. <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, here we are up on the rotating car stand. Uh, what do we got here, son? 1954 Ford F100. That's right, the 1954 Ford F100 pickup. And uh, this is a, a green light car, which we managed to catch the last one in the Toys R Us so we could participate in this challenge. Uh, what do you think about it yourself there, son? Looks really cool. I love that it has the design of the American flag a little. It has the colors. The rims are nice. The tow truck thingy is beautiful. And overall, the thing is really nice. I almost don't want Dad to restore it. <laughs> well, i got to say, it does look really nice. It is one of the signature series pieces. It's really nice. But, uh, you know, uh, it's hard to find pickup trucks. So we're going to we're gonna sort this one out and uh, give it a uh, Dad Andrews Garage touch to it. What do you say? Yeah, it sounds really epic. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess you can live with that, eh? Even yeah. even though your cats in the background are crying? <laughs> yes, I sure can. <laughs> All right. Well, tell you what, folks. Uh, without further uh, ado, we will get to the restoration process, and uh, hopefully this thing will look uh, a little bit better than it does now. Yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> And here we are, folks. Here is our green light 56 Ford F100 tow truck. So not a bad little number here. Uh, we are sorry, green light did a nice job of it. Said it's a drop-in uh, drop tow hook assembly. <laughs> Probably they meant that in real life because it looks like it's part of an old, I guess they just put it in the back of an F100. But in this case, that's what they did here. Let's uh, get it all apart and see what we're working with. I already sort of drilled it apart, and it was a bit of a chore, but uh, <laughs> we'll get her done. So, of course, uh, drop in, uh, pick up uh, our tow truck bed. Here it is. It just comes straight out in one piece. I did. Uh, they did glue it in a little bit, so, yeah, it was a little finicky to get out. So that came out here. Put that there, and it takes the whole top. will come off here. Check that. So here we are, it's sort of a, oh, inside we have, look at that, a little bit of a interior here, as you can sort of see, and I guess that sort of opens, let's just see, yep, yeah, the usual, kind of sides and front open up, ooh, got to watch, it's a little, little uh, worn the plastic there, I got to be careful, I don't want to wreck it, but yeah, yeah, there we go, so we got our interior, we'll put that there, and uh, the tires, look at that. Not too bad, a uh, little on the rough side, but uh, detailed as much as possible. And they just uh, slip right in, you can sort of see them, off they go, clean out. They painted the fenders red, <laughs> and uh, there's a sticker here underneath, and of course, the tag gear, Oop, green light, 1954, oh I said 56, it is a 54 Ford F100. And there it is, so now the post was extremely small, uh, here we are on the chassis or sorry, on the body. So I drilled straight through, it was so small, it went to the, right up here into the into the bed, but we can easily fix that. And that's what the bed looks like. There sort of is a uh, full wood green here or something. So yeah, interesting. And uh, the holes that were there for the uh, tow pickup bed. And uh, here's the glass inside. I really had to be careful with this one. It's not the First glass that I try to take out, oh, one of these, and bing, there it goes. So yeah, I cracked it up a bit, but luckily, it's not something I'm going to be able to see when I put back in. So I think I got a good glass piece here. So yeah, here we go. This is it. The uh, chassis, which is uh, here, and the uh, body, which is quite pretty plain there. We'll see if we can give it a nice uh, paint job, our drop-in uh, tow hook assembly which is pretty much one piece here. Maybe we'll have to touch up some of the paint. Uh, the interior, 
and the tires here, but uh, we are going to change them, I think. Uh, I don't think I want these. Whoop, come back, fella. Don't think I want these guys, but yeah, so here we are. All right, everyone. Well, we got this guy out of the stripper, and we've given him a buff with the wire wheel, and uh, maybe after a little bit of steel wool, we're going to get this thing in for the uh, base coat, and yeah, as you can see, it turned out really well. It's quite a detailed casting uh, right down to wood grain in the back and uh yeesh yeah it got uh it is uh, complete normally you sort of see the fenders separate or something separate but this the whole thing the grill the lights uh yeah the bed everything is uh, one piece fenders all one piece here so yeah we should be able to do something cool with the paint job we also got the uh paint off the bottom of the runners the fenders or the yeah the ring boards so yeah there it is <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, now we're in the process of getting some racing stripes uh, put on this. Just doing some taping right now, and uh, yeah, the tape keeps popping up a bit, but we're going to keep hammering it down and finish off the racing stripes in the back here, too. So yeah, hopefully this thing will be sorted out, and this is what it looks like with the uh, uh, silver uh, Autoborn sealer on it. It looks pretty good. So let's keep going. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, we've been working pretty hard. We've got our paint done, and uh, we also took the interior and made it white, which I think is a lot more pleasant looking for a car that's going to be uh, the color that we're using, which is kind of a purple. And, uh, yeah, I got some Spectre Flame paint done up here, and I think I'm going to just do the bumpers and the running boards in Spectre Flame here. So we'll give that a shot and see how it looks. And, uh, yeah, we'll see. Oh, look, there's uh, Andrew's... Uh, <laughs> Who's that, the king? Yeah, it's the king from Cars. I seem yeah. to paint it up a little because I didn't really like the design. Wow, well, uh, there it is. Uh, <laughs> maybe we could give another paint job one of these days. Yeah, yeah, maybe. All right, well, let's, folks, uh, we'll keep getting, uh, we'll get going on this here painting and uh, see how it turns out. Yeah, what's up? Well, here we are, folks. Yep, we got a nice purple hue to this thing, as you can sort of see. Let's get it in the light. Oh my, there we get there we go. Yeah. So that's gonna look nice because we're only really gonna see the running boards and these fenders. So I think that'll look good with the actual purple paint that we have for the model. So we all right folks, and we got these nice rims and wheels as well that I think will go really good with this thing. Yeah, I think these are the ticket. And uh yeah, we're gonna put our windshield in. And our tow assembly and the uh, cockpit all ready to rock and roll. So I think we're just about ready to get this thing assembled. All right, everyone. And uh, for comparison purposes, uh, this is what our uh, roadside service vehicle, our, uh, what was it called again, son? 1954 Ford F100. That's right. 1954 Ford F100 tow truck. And uh, this is what it used to look like before, but uh, I guess we had a little bit of a journey here, but I think we've made it a little more appropriate to the uh, anniversary as someone special. What do you say? Yeah, it doesn't really look that cool right now, but we made it look really awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll tell you what, without further ado, let's, let's get, get ready, ready for the reveal. reveal. All right, and here we are, folks, our brand new and improved Ford tow truck that we've done up for uh, Lee's third anniversary. What do you think of the truck, Leah? I really enjoy it. I think the purple and the silver blend really nice together. I enjoy the uh, two-stripe pattern on the top. Right on. And just uh, to let you know, uh, Andrew's feeling a little under the weather, so we're uh, pinch hitting with his sister, Leah. Welcome aboard, Leah. Uh, thank you very much. It's a uh, pleasure to be on the show. <laughs> right on. Yeah, yeah, we did a lot to this one. We uh, managed to uh, give it a nice color change, uh, some nice silver striping. We uh, found some really good wheels for it. And uh, we even used the uh, Spectre Flame purple paint to make the running boards and bumpers uh, look a little stand -outy. What do you think? I really like the uh, sparkly sheen on the car. It uh, makes the whole thing look very nice. And that's our purple sparklescent paint, so that's great. Well, hey, uh, I'm glad you like it, Leah. I hope everybody else out there likes it, too. 
I'm uh, sure they will. Right on. And uh, I think we'd just like to say uh, thank you very much for uh, to Lee. Congratulations to Lee over at uh, Time Riders Wee Little Cars on his third anniversary. Happy third anniversary, Lee. <laughs> right on. And uh, like I say, if you uh, like what you see here on this one, uh, like, subscribe, and uh, don't forget to share. And uh, remember to check out everybody else's video on this uh, because you're going to see some really cool tow trucks. And uh, feel free to leave a comment on this video. Tell us what you think of the build. Uh, we always love to hear feedback from our fans. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, folks. Well, he is doing great here. And uh, we just like to sign off at this point uh, and uh, play out with a little bit of the music and some glamour shots of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. So uh, goodbye, folks. Thanks very much for watching Dan Anders Garage. We will see you next build. All right, take care.